As I said in my first video, I am a pre-PA major at UNE, but specifically, I'm a medical biology pre-physician assistant 3 plus 2 major. What the 3 plus 2 part means is that I will have spent a total of three years at our undergraduate campus in Bitterford, Maine, uh, and taking prereq courses for PA school, and then spending two years as part of our grad campus in Portland, taking actual PA classes and completing clinical rotations from all over the place. Between my time spent at our undergraduate campus and the time that I'll spend at our graduate campus, I had to formally apply to UNE's PA program, just as anyone outside of UNE would have had to. Being a 3 plus 2 pre-PA major, I'll be different than all of my other classmates when I start at the PA program this summer because I won't formally have a bachelor's degree. Effectively, I'll be skipping my senior year in a sense to start PA school one year early. The credits I earn during the first three semesters of the master's level PA program will kind of double as the credits I will need to receive my bachelor's for my time spent at the Bitterford UNE campus. Upon completing the first year of PA school, I will walk with the rest of my undergraduate class at graduation and receive, and receive my bachelor's degree, uh, immediately starting the clinical portion of the PA school a few weeks later. For my second and third years at UNE, I worked as a resident advisor. As an RA, I lived among the residential students at UNE to enforce campus policies, to help build communities on the floors, uh, and to provide guidance and answers to those who might need help. As an RA, I held dozens of floor programs and area-wide programs throughout the school. Um, I constructed bulletin boards to get um, residents involved on my floor. Uh, and I worked shifts for doing rounds in two of the buildings on campus throughout the week and occasionally on weekends. While working as an RA and taking 15 to 18 credits as a full-time student each semester, I managed to work, uh, as I said in another video, between 15 and 20 hours a week off campus at the Southern Maine Healthcare Facility in Sanford, Maine, uh, where I worked as a phlebotomist. Oftentimes, I would choose a class schedule that would allow for me to get out of class before noon on some days so that I could go in and work a six or seven hour shift. In the time that I spent working off campus while being in school as a full-time student, I managed to get about half of my total patient care experience hours um, for applying to PA school. Um, and it also helped uh, for having extra money to have fun on the weekends while I was not working. Probably my favorite thing to do this past semester was going rock climbing almost every Friday with the UNE Outing Club. Our campus box office always has sign up, sign-ups for events like rock climbing, uh, hiking, skiing, um, there are sailing lessons when it's warm outside, uh, and so on, as well as discounts for passes to the local movie theaters, um, bowling, candle pin bowling, and regular bowling, um, and go-karting. Um, but as far as on-campus, there are always varsity sports games being played. We have two on-campus gyms in the Campus Center and the Alphon Forum to work out in, um, and intramural sports are also very popular on campus. Uh, for my first year at UNE, I played on our men's club ice hockey team and played in a bunch of intramural sports. I think I played flag football, softball, and ice hockey for all three years so far at UNE. Um, and even if you aren't big into playing sports or doing intramurals, um, we have a concert band on campus. Um, we have a the theater group who performs at our, the local Bitterford Theater. Um, and there are so many academic clubs and social clubs on campus um, that you can get involved in any way. As a pre-PA major, it is important to expect that you'll be a busy student while at UNE and that you'll need to be responsible for getting everything you need done before you can apply to PA school in three or four years. Your advisor at UNE will be able to help you with scheduling for classes, but it really will be up to you to decide how you're going to go about getting your patient care experience, uh, setting up shadowing, shadowing hours with PAs, uh, whether they're at local hospitals near the school or closer to where you live, um, as well as getting involved in leadership or volunteer positions uh, to set yourself apart from other PA school applicants. A misunderstanding that many first-year students have is that getting into UNE as a pre-PA student does not guarantee you a spot at UNE's PA program. When it comes time, you'll have to apply and compete for a position in the program just like anybody else, and you'll need to prove that you are well prepared for the medical field. If you are applying to UNE for this 3 plus 2 pre-PA major, 
Know that there are many students, including myself, that were able to prepare themselves in time to interview before their third undergraduate year and were accepted to start the program a year early. This does not mean that we were preferred candidates. It only really means that we know what we wanted for some time and that we were prepared to enter the graduate level program a year ahead of our peers. If you are sure that being a physician assistant is your true goal and that you specifically do not care to go to medical school, the UNE Medical Biology Pre-Physician Assistant 3 plus 2 or even the 4 plus 2 major might be exactly what you're looking for.